Let's look at a graphic and visual example of Kerberos and the steps that are involved. I have a client, of course. Then I have my KDC, or Key Distribution Center. Then I have my Ticket Granting Server, or TGS. And then finally, the application server itself. In this example, let's say it's a file application server. The client authenticates to the KDC. After the client successfully authenticates, the KDC returns a ticket granting ticket to the client. This ticket granting ticket essentially is signed by the KDC. And when the client presents the TGT to the TGS, in other words, the ticket granting ticket to the ticket granting server, the ticket granting server is able to see that the client has authenticated to the network and this has been confirmed by the KDC. As a result, the ticket granting server verifies that the client has permissions to access not only the application server itself, but the file sharing service. If indeed the client matches this test, then the TGS returns an actual ticket for the server and the service to the client. The client then presents this ticket to the application server. Because both the KDC and TGS have signed or authenticated and verified this particular ticket, the application server is confident that the client is who it says it is and that the KDC and TGS approve of this interaction. It then returns the resource as requested.